Hey guys, Henry with Shooting Star here, and welcome to another episode of Shooting Star TV. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Cookie Dual Top Plate Mount. Um, we've had some uh, customers ask us if this mount will work on a G3, um, and the answer is it will not work, and I will explain why in just a few minutes. I uh, remember that uh, there were a, there was a version of this type of mount uh, made by Hypoxid a while ago. Unfortunately, that's discontinued right now, um, and uh, it was made for the G3 especially. Uh, so you were able to do a similar a similar setup for your cameras on the G3. Um, as you can see on the fuel, the mount sits. These two feet hold the mount, the, the top plate in, in, in position, and there you can see there's no gap in between that and the helmet shell, right? So that's the way it should sit, and that's on the fuel, all right? This would be I have a mount right here on the G3 and on the G3 the actual the actual uh, feet don't don't touch they, they don't sit flush on the on the shell as it should on the on the on the on the other on the fuel helmet here you can see there's a lot of light in the in the back part and the, and the mount kind of wobbles a little bit so it's uh, it doesn't have a perfect fit and match to the curve of the helmet as you can see there you can see a lot of light and see how it kind of rocks a little bit and if you turn it to the back, you can also see there's a lot of light in the back there. So a line can easily snag in there and then you'll be in trouble if you don't have a cutaway system. Um, so uh, we, do not, we don't recommend uh, using that uh, for the Cookie G3. You could modify and do some adapting and put probably something in between the shell and the feet of the mount so it sits flush we have not tried it we have not made any kind of modifications uh like like those so um we definitely don't recommend it but uh yeah that's what that's how you can see pretty much how these two feet will match the curve of the helmet like on the g and um, on the cookie fuel compared to the g3 so you have a lot of space in between since the curves are totally different on the on the fuel you have a wider more open curb and then the cookie g3 it, it kind of narrows down from the top so it's kind of like an x shape uh so yeah that's uh, that for the cookie fuel dual top mount uh hope it uh this helps answering any questions but if you have any questions regarding the mount uh how to set it up or anything like that just shoot us an email to gear at shootingstar.com or give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out with any questions you might have all right guys Stay safe and I'll see you later.